What's up guys, the Fallen Clash are here, and today we're going to be covering um, the recent update. So, it actually happened this morning, and I don't know, if it, it doesn't really affect me that much, because I mean, usually after an update, first off, the loot is really crappy, but um, it's actually not that bad right now. So we're going to visit Hori out because he has all the new stuff. So the first thing is the level 4 expo right here. Uh, expo. So, uh, god dang it. Alright, it does, um, only 5 more damage and costs like 10,000 more Dark elixir, er, elixir to fill. So I don't know if that's really worth it or not. I mean, of course it's worth it, but it's not as, that much better. Unless they made the other two weaker, but I don't know, I don't have one. The next thing is the level 8 air defense. It's pretty much just kill dragons right here with uh, 320 damage per second. But luckily it can still be killed with three lightnings, which is really cool. I'm not going to cover the Inferno Tower yet. Save the best for last. Um, next would be the level 5 golem and the level 4 dragon. So if you look at the dragon's eyes, it's kind of like pixely and stuff. It's kind of weird. I don't know. And then... Let's see, uh, the next thing that they got was a new Dark Elixir Drill. Town Hall 5 didn't, I mean, 9, 10, 10. Didn't really get that much stuff, actually. And that's at the level, oh, wait, this is the level, right here, breaking it, breaking news. This is the level 4, five, yeah, 4 healer. We're gonna take a picture of that, and you can put it on the forums or something. But that's the level 4 healer right there. Um, Jorge Al, he just finished the upgrade for it. That's really cool. It looks pretty, it looks pretty similar to the level 3, but I think it's got more of a pinkish thing to it. And then, uh, what was I saying? Oh, they got another Dark Elixir Drill. And a new cannon and Archer Tower, which I can't point out because I have no clue where they are. But then, the, oh, another thing is the Barbarian King and Archer Queen both got 10 more levels. And their previous levels also cost less because they didn't upgrade the Dark Elixir storage. It still holds the exact same amount and has, only goes up to level 6. So, the, I did notice on the Queen, she has a little red thing on her side. Oh, the, oh those are just arrows. <laughs> Oh, whoops. I thought that was, like, fire for the new update or something. So, lastly, there is the Inferno Tower. So, this is a level 2. It has more fire on top. The level 1 costs 5 million gold. And right here, okay, so the this is an interesting tower. It's Well, first off, it's a 2x2, two two, like the hidden Tesla. So, you can see it, it fits right there. It's a little 2x2 two two area. But, um, it... So it starts out doing 30 damage, and about every, I don't know, like, 3 to 5 seconds, it gets stronger and, sh well, it gets stronger as it, the longer, alright, look, read. The Inferno Tower fires a mystical flame that gets more powerful the longer it stays on a target. It can be, it can target ground troops and flying troops, flying units alike. Load the tower with Dark Witcher to keep it operational. Basically, it's like a more awesome expo, because this thing destroys P.E.K.K.A.s in seconds, along with dragons and everything else. So, I mean, that's, that's really cool, and it costs a bit to, um, fill. They also did not make another storage level or make them higher. Instead, what they did is they made Town Hall 9 cost um, 3 million and uh, Town Hall 10 cost 4 million. I think that's right. Yeah, 3 million. But you do get all that awesome stuff still. Uh, the next thing, you, you see I didn't have tra troops trained because I wanted to show you the new feature. So look here. First, we have the new dragons, which um, you can't say I'm a fan of not actually my favorite but uh so look you could do this you could oh whoops all right so you can train up troops first and actually i'm not going to attack in this video because i have attacks i already have and then you switch to the next barracks how cool is that you could just go through all your barracks in like seconds instead of searching around for them so i mean i really like this part this is actually quite possibly my favorite part of the update <laughs> Like, I mean, it's weird, because you expect it to be, like, something with attacking or something, but no, this is my favorite part of the update. I didn't even know it was coming, too. Like, it was not something I expected. And I do have a new design here, actually. It's to, it's designed to protect all three storages perfectly. So, basically, it's almost impossible to get all three of my storages. But, um, another thing that happened was, uh, oh, the king and queen, like I said, they cost less. So, I mean, even though the, this is something weird that Hugh showed me, like, a couple minutes ago. So the Archer Queen, it costs 40,000 40, Dark Elixir to upgrade. I mean, to buy, but to upgrade it, only costs two, it only costs 22, yeah, 22 and a half thousand. So right now, if I had an Archer Queen, I could upgrade it. So that was something weird that came along with the update. And then Air Defenses to level 7 took a little bit less time, but I don't have mine at level 6 yet, so it doesn't really matter. 
And another thing that showed up is um you can find the center of your base. So this is really tough to do actually. Where is it? Um here it is. Alright, look. Right here, this little dot. Right in the center. That's the absolute center of your base. So that came out with the update. It was pretty it's really hard to find, but it's pretty cool. That we now know exactly where the center of our base is. Um I think there's someone on here who has the level one inferno tower still, so let's just search down here. Nope, level two. Next person. I know there's someone who has to have one no, tower. Because I saw it this morning. Where is theirs? Where is it? Wait, is there... Oh. Well, they're building a level one Inferno Tower heal here. But basically, it, um, I think I recall did like 24 to 900 damage. I, I think that's right. I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that. But I mean, it's probably... It's actually not probably. It is the strongest thing in the game. Like here, you can see the King and Queen did get extra levels. So 32, 32. Yeah, just like, and then the lab also got a cool upgrade. Um, when it's active, you see a little fire coming out the top, which is really cool. A lot of people had their healers in there upgrading. I don't know really how long it takes, but I now know what it looks like, which is cool. Um, anything else I'll show in the update? Oh, this thing. This is really cool. So now there is the troops receive thing, like I said. The one thing I don't like is that the new interface, like the new way everything's written. So if you look at it, like look at my um, clan castle, how it's all big and stuff. Like it's kind of weird. Actually, on my computer screen, everything looks like usual, but I guess it's made for like iPads now. But I don't know. So yeah, like I was saying, there is the troops receive thing. Um, and the clan is actually absolutely oh well, it was absolutely full. Someone left like a couple minutes ago, but. I'm, I'm fine with that. I have 49 people, whatever. And most people are very active. Are you joking? Wow, I'm one off of 1,200 donations. And then, ugh, wow. Also, you can use emojis, which, um, you see a lot of on, well, wow, that's a first. Alright, well, you get, like, these things. You can, see, you can use them all over the place. It's really cool. Okay, that was inappropriate. <laughs> Good work, Parker. Um... Oh, alright, so now there's the attack log thing, which is attacks. So these top two are me, and then this is my friend who took my phone and attacked for me, which is fine, actually. They three-star a person with not even my entire army, which is really cool. And I had a couple attacks here earlier, like this one was this morning, as I felt like attacking. I was testing the loot, and it's actually really good still, which is weird. But uh, why don't we go watch these attacks? So this is actually um, the go wipe that I use, because I don't have golems yet. And I used it on this base because that was a lot of a uh, golden elixir. So, all right, first thing I did was draw out the clan castle because Pekka's only take out one troop at a time. I did three star this base because why? Well, I mean, why not? So I got them all in one place, and then I remember I zoomed in and placed down the lightning spell, which showed all of them. So then over here, um, I placed the wall breaker really close. Give me a second. Yeah, I placed the wall breaker right there, but unfortunately, it uh, there was a spring trap there. Then I placed one giant to make sure there were, weren't any more. And my level 5 giants break through walls really easily. And then I only had 7 archers because I had a couple barbarians left over, which is, I mean, which is fine. It actually helped me out. And then as soon as, um, I wanted to make sure that all the outside buildings were cleared, so I placed down like, I don't know, 8 or 9 of my wizards. And they went to clear out the outside buildings. Then I placed the king to test to see if they would go on the outside still. And they would, so, um... Then I placed my Pekkas afterwards. I had to make sure that there were enough outside buildings to stop them. And that's the rage spell that made them break through the walls, which is, they made, did it in seconds. And I love how powerful wizards are in a rage spell. They're like monsters. Look at them. Just bam. Just, it's, it's awesome. I mean, this base honestly was not prepared for this at all. And these are still level 1 Pekkas and level 5 Giants. I mean, level 5 is actually really high because that's like the old max, but I mean, whatever. And then the king decided to go all the way outside my base instead of staying inside, which is weird. I mean, I'm fine with that. It didn't really do much. And then I don't think a single one of my Pekka's died. Because, um, I think Tesla's might, like, not be attracted to, um, Pekka's anymore. Because instead of attacking the Pekka's, attacked my, um, Barbarian team, like, twice. I guess you'll see it later in the video. I don't want to see it later. Yeah, so right there. Two wizards on the room. We got the sound off. And this is not very easy to die. Thank you.
Well, one of each storage. And that was it right there. So, I mean, that was a pretty good. Oh, and that's my level 10 Archer Tower down at the bottom if you see it. Sorry about the lag. My computer. I wasn't actually even able to record yesterday because, like, the computer was just. It was acting really bad. This is me. Um. I don't know. I think that might. I think that covers the entire update, really. Um, I went over Golems level 5. Let's see. Anything about the update? No. Oh, one thing. So, people were actually using, like, jailbreaks to um, make sure that they could stay online forever, like Viazza or Vizia. I. Vizia, I think. But, oh, he's back. I guess. Oh, well, someone's back, finally. Maybe. I don't know. But earlier this morning, he was, like, demolished. Because I, I guess immediately after the update, someone came and just ran through his base and knocked him down 20-something trophies. I mean, I don't think he's absolutely back because he still only has he still has nine dragons. So I think he I think he quit, which is interesting. Um. Yeah, that pretty much covers the entire update, really. Um, if there's anything else I missed, you can put it in the comment section or something. Because I'm pretty sure I got it all. Yeah, we're done here. Alright, um, see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and I think this might actually be the last video we make for a week and a half. Because, um, our exams start next week, so we want to start studying, like, today or tomorrow. I'm going to start, probably start studying tomorrow, cause tomorrow or tomorrow's Friday. I am recording this live. So, yeah, tomorrow's Friday, and, um, I want to be able to start studying then. Because I'm going to, like not focus on Clash and focus more on studying because I don't want to fail. It's my last year in middle school, which is cool, I guess. But like I said, thanks for watching, and we'll be back in like a week or so.